let's get started. So what we have today is our week six, which is our basically day six or module six. And we're going to look at Quorum Journal Manager today. Let's get started. So let me finish things on time. So now let's discuss name node high availability, right? So we just, we just uh, talked about it yesterday that this is one of the main features of Hadoop 2, basically yarn based prime framework that we have name node high, avail high availability. So like, let's discuss how it works, right? So, so let's see. So this slide says quorum general manager, right? So let's first, first of all, understand what's a quorum. So quorum is a generic, basically, I would say, um, um, term that's used in clustering where we say that a particular cluster is basically stable if out of say you have n nodes so how many basically a cluster can afford them to be up to have the cluster running so that's basically a quorum basically is a list set of machines and how you basically use that quorum to establish the health of your clusters so we are using the same cluster um, basically concept of quorums in name node to use highest avail high availability so what we do is as we discussed yesterday we have an active name node now and then we have a standby name node right so what we'll do is that then we have basically an odd number of journal nodes right so journal nodes basically what they do is they basically work on basically uh concept of voting so what we'll do is whenever the nodes will have they will constantly poll the edit logs and as you can see it will read the edit logs and they will apply the re they so they will basically constantly look at the status of the name node and they will see which of the node basically is up so each journal node will basically do a concept of voting so whenever a node is up they will just have the vote up and then basically three nodes will have three votes so so now if all the journals will basically look at the value and they will basically see that okay if Say the quorum expected quorum and there is something called a calculated quorum so so basically you will see that there's a formula which is called say n plus two by two so if you have say three nodes three journal nodes so three plus two will become five five divided by two would be 2.5 so that means your 2.5 and you round it it becomes two so calculated quorum is two and now your expected quorum is say two so whenever your ex your calculated quorum is greater than your expected quorum and that point of time your cluster is basically up so now all the journal nodes will basically have the votes and there and then that formula will be calculated to find the expected quorum so whenever this expected quorum basically is now the calculated quorum goes less than the expected quorum at that point of time these journal nodes identify that the name node basically is down and they have to basically stand by name node needs to pick up so basically that's just general um, way these general nodes work so that's something that i just wanted to make sure that you guys understand that we are using a concept of quorum and the quorum basically looks at an expected quorum basically value and if that value is not reached then they know that okay the node has gone down and then they basically do the automatic name node failover so this is the automatic failover which is used by which is basically done by using journal nodes and these are very lightweight processes so they will you will just install them on the nodes so it could be on the same node where name node is running it could be on your job tracker slash resource manager uh, so these journal nodes will basically will run in even number and so then whenever this happens then the automatic failover will happen and you don't have to basically manually switch the name node and the standby will automatically become the active name node so as we said discussed yesterday that whenever there are two name nodes so the active name node is the only guy who writes to the edit logs so the namespace modification is only done by active name node so the standby name node just reads those information from journal nodes because journal nodes are basically constantly all these three journal nodes are reading edit logs and saving there so so standby name will also get the edit logs keep on reading these edit logs from here so whenever the active name node basically goes down the standby will basically become the new active and it will read get the latest edit logs and then it will start writing and then this node will become standby and it will get the read only access to this edit logs and keep on updating its state so this is basically how it works 
and as we discussed yesterday that all the data nodes they are configured to basically talk to both the name nodes so they keep on sending block reports to all both the name nodes so the only thing that the standby name node needs now is the metadata because it already has the block report so other thing it needs the file system image and edit logs which it gets from one of these journal nodes so this is how name node ha works so Fani is saying journal node is nothing but data node, right? No, the data node is separate, right? So data nodes, as you can see, are at the bottom. Journal nodes are separate nodes, which are basically being used to detect the name node failure and basically to bring the second name node active. So this is why which you're saying that name node high availability can be set up using either general manager, quorum general manager, or you can have shared edits, which is our manual step. In which case these both they basically sync up each other on the edits and then you have to basically do a manual failover so right now we're talking about the name not high availability automatic basically failover which is done using quorum journal manager so while you're saying how many journal nodes usually you should have so usually people start with three you need to have them in odd numbers because they use the formula of n plus two by two so so you basically do them in odd numbers and most people go by default three you can also have five so if you are extra paranoid you can do three so uh, so next question by sanjay is in hadoop 1.0 where was general node related functionality happening so in 1.0 basically we did not have any ha right so that's why we were not having this journal node basically being used so that's why now this general node concept is new in just hadoop 2 basically for name node high availability and Sanjay saying also what info is stored in edit logs as we discussed in our previous sessions edit logs are basically all the changes that that are happening to your file system whenever your name node comes up it initially has a file system image and after that any changes that happen that people write law write files people read files people delete files so all those instances are look are basically recorded in edit logs as a transaction so that's the same thing that we have in Hadoop 2 also edit logs are basically your transactions so Jagdish is saying, so all configuration settings are stored in journal nodes. So journal nodes have configuration settings of basically active name node, standby name node, and where to read the metadata because they are storing, reading the edit logs and namespace also. So journal nodes are configured to talk to this, to basically the entities that they are basically monitoring. So journal nodes, basically this is a, it's a concept like zookeeper, right? So we have a zookeeper, which does the concept of basically monitoring the state of a process so now journal nodes are also like zookeepers which are basically doing the monitoring of name node so funny saying can you explain again calculated versus expected quorum yeah i can do it but you don't really need to get into it understanding so but what we are saying is that each journal node is basically they are going to do a voting concept so whenever they basically are they are able able to basically um so what i can say is each node basically contributes to one vote so now we have three nodes so the formula that it's going to use is number of nodes plus two divided by two so that means three plus two five divided by two becomes 2.5 divided by two right so sorry five divided by two becomes 2.5 and then when you round it becomes two so what we are saying is that our calculated quorum is two and then you have an expected quorum which could be say two or three so now we are saying our expected quorum is say two so that means that with three nodes now we are saying that our cluster is basically healthy so if my calculated quorum right now is two but it goes to say one so again the journal nodes are basically polling name node and every time they are able to pull the name node they basically have they add one vote to it so now this is being used to calculate the calculated quorum so at any point of time when they are not able to pull then this calculated quorum will decrease the expected quorum that we have so whenever the calculated quorum basically decreases the expected quorum then we know that okay the problem has happened and now we need to do a failover so this is how the expected versus calculated quorum basically what means okay so hopefully that answers helps you understand this funny so while is saying so for every name node we should have three general nodes so for every ha setup we'll have three general nodes we have 
active name node one machine standby name node another machine and then we have three general nodes so we don't really need to have three general node as three separate machines as i said these are very lightweight processes so they can even run on your name node or standby name node or on your job tracker or on your resource manager or you have the extra machine so it can run anywhere so these are just lightweight processes so Shama is saying, so all general node have same data. So yes, they are polling it. They have individually, they are storing the data. So they have, they are supposed to have same data. Yes. So Sai is saying, if the active node goes down, standby becomes active. And once the down active name node is up, it will be standby name node, right? So in this case, we are saying this is automatic failover, right? So in this case, automatically this name node, now general nodes are basically going to find out when the node has gone down and they will automatically do a failover and standby will become active and this active will become standby once it comes back up. So Fani is saying, so general nodes have details of name node, secondary name node. So right now we are not talking about secondary name node. We are now we are talking about secondary name node is going to be a separate entity here, which will only talk to active name node, right? So that we saw yesterday. So we're going to discuss that again. So now what we are saying is general nodes are going to talk to just active name node and standby name node. So they will have all the details of both of them. Yes. So Hari is saying, can you have two or more active nodes, active name node, you mean? So I'm not sure what you mean by two or more active nodes. So at point of time, we'll have just one active name node and one standby name node. If you're going with federation, then you'll have multiple name nodes and you'll have one standby for each of them because they are independent name nodes. So this is how basically quorum general, uh, journal basically manager works and uh, how it does HA.